Hi, I'm Anthony Romrell, and we're going to continue to work on this pig. So I'm going to add more geometry, and I'm just going to simply use my tool that I've been using. And it is my insert edge tool. And I, st I, I would argue that the insert edge tool is still the best option for adding more geometry. So I'm going to insert some edges here and um, under the arms. Just globally go around and add some geometry as I feel it needs. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use several options now, several options of, of my move tool just to show you some quick ways to manipulate this pig. One of the options I think I've showed you before, I may not have, is I'm going to turn on what's called reflection. So when I am in vertex mode, if I select this one side with reflection right here turned on, you can see I can manipulate my vertices pretty easily. Um, I could also go to edge loop mode and double click it and double click on an edge and I can manipulate my edge like this. Also what I can do is turn on soft select. Turn on soft select and it gives me a fall off. Another thing that I like to do um, and this is just in general areas is I like to also go to mesh and average vertices. So I'll do that here. Just do one iteration. I'll just say average. And I can grow my selection by hitting shift period. And I can average my vertices. And I can decide um, if my pig, I keep selecting wrong things. I can. Uh, grow my selection, average my vertices, especially in areas that are kind of sharp, like this area right here, I could actually select one vertex, grow my selection, average my vertices. And it's a nice, fast way of manipulating your geometry. Now remember I can go to vertex mode, grow my selection, average my vertices. I can select, for example, this entire arm. Um, let's say I go to vertex mode and select this entire arm. I can average my verts or under the arm, average my verts. And it's a nice way to generally control things. Now, the problem with averaging my vertices is that maybe it gets rid of some sharp lines. Maybe now I feel like this pig is, you know, should be a little bit sharper in the arm here or have a little bit more volume. So I'd have to go back and do a little bit more manipulation. But you can see it does a pretty good job. Now, you could just go to Edit Mesh and Smooth. And there's times when I do that. But just hitting Edit Mesh and Smooth is going to increase my faces by, by four times. So before I had 700 faces, that would jump me up to 2,800 faces. And I just would rather control my geometry, either by sculpting it or averaging my vertices and just using my insert edge tool. So I'm going to manipulate this a little longer and when I come back I'll show you the end results.